Hello y'all, we have an island tour and this is a fall island. This is by euphemere.acnh on Instagram and it is a fall town. So this is the flag, but let's go ahead and get started at the entrance. And there is some gifts, but let's just go ahead and make our way. And it's actually right here. Let's look at the map. The This is the map of Dahlia. So there is terraforming, um, mainly waterscaping. And these are the villagers. Pearl is really nice. These villagers definitely are very fall. So that is Dahlia. And then this is a cute entrance. This is actually adorable. There's a lot of cute items placed down. And it just looks really good with that bridge. And it is a pretty mini entrance. And I always like those because they're very cute. So this is that beautiful entrance. And we will cross the bridge. And I see a lot of weeds. And the beaches are very delicate and simple. With a beautiful sitting area. And I like these boats parked on the beach. And one thing I noticed is that there is a lot of codes on the ground, which is something that I love so much. I do that on my island and I always like to crowd my builds with as many QR codes that I can fit. So I just really appreciate that and that looks super beautiful. And here is the Nook's Cranny. I like how it is the original one. And I love the fence. And that is why the island looks super nice and full because of all those QR codes. And this is a cute little pumpkin patch. And there is a lot of pathing going on. So I just really like that. They put a lot of paths down. It guides you, basically. And then we will pass this bridge. I like all these trees in the distance, beautiful colors. And this beautiful beach with a sitting area. And a lot of plants on the beach and there's a villager's house. And it's all very cream colored. And this is the dock. And this gives me inspiration for what I should do on my beaches. Definitely have to crowd my beaches with a bunch of plants and flowers. 
So here's a sitting area and this rusty boat. And then here is a fancy romantic dinner along the beach. So that's a little restaurant. And then this is the museum, and then there's an orchard right here. A peach orchard, and then the, the museum. Oh, Maple is walking down the runway. So here is that campsite. I mean, I keep on wanting to say campsite, but it is not the campsite. It is the museum. The tent museum. And yes, I just love how many paths there are. There is that beautiful skinny path that I always contemplate downloading. I wonder if that's a skinny path or is that the same no, I think that actually, yeah, I think that is a skinny version of the path. I just always like those because it makes little trails. And there is a house over there. And here we go, stepping into this villager's house, which has a very big area. Um, this is a really nice villager's house. They extended the villager's house by putting that storefront right next to it. Very natural rivers. And maybe this is Bone's house. Actually, no, it's not. Because there is someone inside, so... Yep, not Bone's. And then this is another house right next to it. And again, I just really love how full this build is. It is just beautiful when they, when they fill it up with a bunch of weeds and QR codes, plants. It is, it just makes a very big difference. And there's a bunch of flowers in that area. And here is a house. And the house is not decorated but that is totally okay. The exterior, exterior looks really nice with a bunch of flowers and a good mixture because it does look like all of these flowers are for fall, that color scheme. Here's a little sitting area. And a romantic date 
um, in Red's Beach. And then we got a villager's house with a little pumpkin patch. And these really interesting bridges, double bridges, really cool. We got a little tea area, snack area. And this is the campsite. Really cool. There's three tents. And I really like those lights. And I like that idea of just putting more tents because make the campsite bigger. And here's the beach with a lot of windmills. Simple idea that anyone can do. And absolutely stunning absolutely stunning wheat field i love this area that is so creative and i love wheat fields and i'm trying to do a wheat field of my own but it is very hard collecting all of those wheat fields day by day but this looks absolutely breathtakingly marvelous it is so beautiful and this is exactly why I want to do a wheat field on my island. So I definitely need a bunch of wheat fields to do this to make it look good. And I really like what they did. Made a little picnic area. So I have not seen this in person. So this is really cool. Perfect for a fall island to do a wheat field area. And this is a cute little dinner area, little bakery. I like that idea of putting the storefront right there to make like a little bakery or little shop. Is that Melba? It might be, or it might not be. I'm not sure. Maybe it's Melba. Oh my gosh, this cute duck. What is this item? I need that item. I don't understand what item that is. I've never seen in my life. It is super cute. What is that item? I don't know. Oh my gosh. What is this item right here? The book. That little scrapbook, what? I've never seen that. Oh my goodness, if anyone knows what that is, you guys need to tell me. Absolutely tell me right now. Type it in the comments. Let me know, help me out. I need to find these two items, especially this book. My gosh, that is so cute. Wow. So this is a little campsite area. 
on the beach and this villager house. I've never seen that book in my life. And we are behind resident services. We've got this beautiful villager's house. I love these fences. And right here we go up to Able Sisters. Always like doing my shops on their own cliff with their stairs I definitely have to do my able sisters I did my nooks cranny and I'm even thinking of redoing it but it's done but I don't know it's good but I would like to change it kind of it's kind of good but you know what I need to change it I think my able sisters is completely just not done and it's on just on the ground next to my resident services, but I might want to just put it on its own cliff. So that was the end of the tour. I'm just quickly trying to see if there's any area that we missed. This was a very cozy fall island and I really enjoyed it. And if you guys are interested, I'm going to be posting daily this week of island tours. So if that interests you, then you can subscribe and stay tuned to get some inspiration or just to watch some creative people and watch what they do with their island. So I will see you guys very soon. And thank you for hanging out with me. Goodbye, guys. I'm going to sleep.